Hello YouTubers, Failures here, and welcome to a new episode of some Phantom Towards the Top, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip. If you've seen the mailbox in Football Monday 2012, if an agent offers you a player, just take a look at it, maybe sometimes you can hit a jackpot, and I hit a jackpot. City Kaita is one of the better, um, Maliliske, Mali how do you say that, one of the better defensive midfielder from Mali. This guy was a free agent, he came from RC Strasbourg. Who also won actually won the League Cup in the French League Cup in 2005, and I bought him only for a contract. Isn't that good? Like he was rated four and a half star. That is one star better than the guy I paid 300k for. So let's hope that Keita can do something great on the team. When I got the news that H James Henselwood was eligible for a professional contract, I said yes. This guy's pot this guy's potential is pretty good. It's a four and a half star potential, and he's worth 1.7 million. I would not let this guy go for a free contract. That would be stupid to lose that amount of money. This guy is a gold uh, gold mine in himself. He's worth a lot of money in my opinion. Let's read the news. James Hislewood has turned 17 today and thus can now be given a professional contract with Southampton. Southampton has now offered a contract and he actually haven't replied yet so let's hope he says yes because 1.7 million is a lot to waste. Let's hope he says yes because this player can be a l worth a lot in 5 years. Maybe even 10 million, who knows, maybe even an English star. Let's see. In this month we had some strange game, I have to admit that, because the first game against Derby, we were like the Ottawa against us. The media said that we were gonna lose, but a fast goal from Yaya Sanogo secured us a 1-0 lead in the first couple of minutes. But then we just took over and we got 2-0, and from that Derby never saw, saw us again, we were miles ahead of them. But then we played against Cardiff, who got a goal in the first minute, so the thing that we made against Derby, they made, made against us. And we played bad, I have to admit that. But let's see what happens now. We play against. I uh, can't really see it, it's really annoying. I think it's Leeds. They were up against us. If it's against Leeds, then it is. They were up against us with 2 0 after 15 minutes or something like that. 15 minutes or something like that. And they were owning us. And suddenly we, we came back with one goal in the f 45th minute. And two minutes after that, Speroni makes an own goal. Or they classified it as an own goal, and I wouldn't classify it as one. And then we come back again, 3 to 2. We had 25 minutes left, but <laughs> we couldn't do anything about it. And this was Keita's first goal in his debut game. We didn't play in the first game because he needed a contract. Not a contract, he needed a a work permit. But this, the, the thing that I like about Football Manager, it is not, like, you, you can't see in the future what's gonna happen. We were doomed against Everton. The media said that we, we were gonna lose with 5-0. We were even playing against our own teammate, Jack Cork, who's on Everton. But a fast penalty in the 50 minutes, or like, it's not a fast penalty, but an early penalty in the 50 minutes got us leading. And we were leading, like, with 1 0 all the way through to 10 minutes left, and they got a. Oh, they classified again as Joseph Hunter doing their own goal, but who cares? And in the 100th, 100th minute, they scored a goal because we were in extra time. But then we scored three goals, like, w within 15 minutes. Yaya Sanogo was really doing great. And my sisters are talking in the background, shut the fuck up, I'm gonna speak louder now. But we were really playing good. I, I don't know what happened, we were just... It said that, and we were playing amazing. It was, something must have happened with the team. And then we played against Blackpool in the last game, and we were pwning again. The confidence that we got in the Everton game, we pulled over in the Blackpool game. I have to admit that Yaya Sanogo has been one of the best buys Southampton has ever seen. That's a really good thing to the team. So in this month we had three go good games and we had two really bad games. Against Derby, Everton and Blackpool we were playing good but against Cardiff and Leeds we were playing bad. So in the Empower Championship we had two wins and two losses. That makes us placed 7th at the moment in the in the championship. And if you see our overall results for this, like th the three months we have played so far, I would say that we, have, we should be placed better but the league is pretty competitive in the top so I don't know what's happening. But thanks for watching this part guys, please leave a like, please subscribe, please pass this on to your friends because I really want to have some more audience, I want to have a bigger audience. Like I said before, a musician don't just want to see the five same people to every concert, he wants to have five new people uh, new people every concert. He wants to see, ne first time he do does a concert, he can accept that there's five guys, next time maybe ten guys, maybe next time again there's fifteen guys, next time there's twenty guys, and suddenly he gets into the news, and now next time there's hundred guys, and so on, so on, so on. It's like, you're n not big until you like what you see in the, co in the audience. Thanks for watching this guys, please see you again later.